So just over a year ago, we were here in our new home and it was pretty much a building site. Now I've got the keys and it's finished. So I'm gonna meet Ops Director Alan Walsh for a little look around our new home. Alan, how's it going? I've got your keys, mate. You ain't getting them back. Good to see you again. Stu, uh, we've got to keep our distance, of course. Yes. Um, thanks for having me back. Going to oh, give worries. us a little tour of the place. And um, where have you got us started? Of course, in the West Stand. Why not? For the fans. And um, it looks amazing. You can see a lot of the red and stuff. One thing, let's just get straight to it. A lot of fans, obviously, have been talking about potentially not a lot of branding that makes it feel Brentford. Obviously, we can see the red here. Are there any plans to bring things in over here? Yeah, I mean, look, we've got a lot of white walls we've got to fill up with branding. I mean, I think we're going to have to get the, the trotter crossbar in here. So there's talk history. of things like that actually Absolutely. coming over? Yeah, there are. And there's stuff that we've had at Griffin Park from the historian kind of boards we've had. We want to actually get them in the concourses here for the home fans. That's good to hear as a Brentford yeah. fan. Well, look, let's get straight on with it. Let's see the view in the West Stand, shall we? Let's do it. So, Alan, here we are, West Stand. What a view. We're going to be saying that a lot, I feel, today. But it really is unbelievable. How many fans are going to be up here? You've got 3,600 up here, Stu. And the screen's up there. What will be shown on there on a match day? Pretty much a show presentation. Um, might even have a picture of yourself up there. You Peter, never know, I might squeeze myself up hey, there. Why not? Peter Gillum hopefully will be up oh, there as well. The legend, um, yeah. Action replay, uh, scoreboards, anything we want to put on there. But right, Adam, before we go to the North Stand, as we're walking, I've noticed these. I mean, this doesn't look like a normal football stadium. This looks more like the London Underground. What's going on here? Because surely everyone's just going to hop over, aren't they? Nah, this is for the home fans. We're respectors, you know. Everyone's got the season cards, mobile tickets. It's just a matter of coming up, zapping in, coming and enjoying the facilities. So it's a nice, simple system. You use your phone and then you can just tap in that way with your season ticket or your ticket. Correct, correct. We've got mobile tickets, we've got physical cards, or season cards, and we've also got paper tickets. Right, Alan, so this is the corner between the West Stand and the North Stand. This is going to be the family area. First thing I've noticed, that wall doesn't fit in with the rest of the stadium. What's the story? Yeah, this is actually recycled bricks, Stu, from uh, previous buildings that were here where we had stable blocks. So Amazing, so keeping a bit of the history. Absolutely, we reuse the bricks and uh, gives a lovely effect right down to the stand. It goes all the way down there, and I've noticed some concessions things, so while we're down there, let's have a look at some let's concessions, because I might have a little Swifty. Hey! Last time we were here, you said we might have magic points. Is this the famous magic points? They come from the bottom. Stu, no. What? Sorry, it ain't. It ain't. This is the tea, coffee. These are the uh, teas machines. and coffees. Yeah, yeah. Points no. you want down that way or up that way. So we're not going to have those magic points. We're going to have fast pour, but not the magic points. So here we are, North Stand. This is kind of, I don't like to keep comparing, but it would be the new road equivalent for talking Griffin Park. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that, Stu. You've got sunlight sometimes maybe in your eyes. Same right. as new road. You want a suntan? Come in here. Got to give you the screens. And also, you're the first thing that the players see when they walk out, I guess. Absolutely. Right, so we've made our way down the stand and talk to me, because that's not what we said. That's not very Brentford friendly. I thought we were trusting everyone. Yeah, of course we do, but this is uh, the way entry. Oh, so we're now at that corner of the stadium we are. in between the North Stand and the East Stand. So this is where away fans will be. We don't really need to spend much time in here, but we know where they're going to be, right up in the corner, keeping them nice and quiet. Should we continue our journey? Let's do it, let's do it. So here we are, East Stand behind the goal. Can I go and have a look at the uh, seats up here? Yeah, let's have a look. So here we are, East Stand. Over there then, it's going to be the away fans, right? That's and where the does that come ones. up to? Realistically looking. Uh, pretty much from this section down here. Yeah. All the way up to probably that promontory just around here in the championship. Right, okay. And then it can be extended, I guess, if we need to. Well, we'll probably decrease it if we need to for right. next season. Okay. The season after next, I should say. Then it will, uh, yeah. yeah, okay. So again, I'm going to say it. What a view it is from up here again. So this is what it might look like with social distancing, Adam. But one thing I want to talk about here is you're still well close to the pitch, aren't you? Yes, you are. Six metres from this seat, it? right to there. Yeah. You're unbelievably close. I reckon if you went a bit further down, you could be right in Thomas's ear. I'm sure he'll hear you from here. <laughs> and the pitch as well. The pitch looks unbelievable. Last time we were here, it was just kind of woven-y kind of thing. What's yeah. going on now? So it's just established. Uh, we did a light renovation on the beginning of August, and it's established now, ready to play from September. So it's, it's, like a it's good to go. It is like a carpet. Unbelievable. Alan, what's this place? This looks like a car park, mate. Yeah, it, it does look like a car park, Steve. It's, uh, it's also broadcast inside. 
uh, compound. Right, so this is where, where Sky and BT, whoever, absolutely. we're doing their broadcast. Well, yeah. look, as interesting as this car park is, I want to see where their real action is. So can you take us to the gantry and all the TV yeah. stuff? Let's do the lift. Hang on, what's the sen oh, sensory room, let's get in there. So, what would the sensory room be room before? So, the sensory room is basically for families who have wow. like a nice bit of quiet space to watch the game. So, sort of a noisy stadium. We can be self-contained within here, watch the game out here. Brilliant. Uh, fully a safe environment for the family. So That's a great initiative. Inclusive. Yeah. Inclusive. So we never had something like that. That's so good. That that'll be so important for so many families that whose children or whoever maybe couldn't come to the games for whatever reason. Exactly. That they can now enjoy the match day up here. That's that's brilliant. Yeah. Love that. Nice view as well. Right. I see the gantry. It's like a maze. This place. Studio One. Can I go in here? Yeah, of course. So this uh, is where I guess Sky and that will be. Will this they? is where Sky BT live. You know, with live sports game where you've got your commentators and your uh, guests, presenters, yep. all in here. So we've got two studios here, so we're ready for the Premier League. We need to get there now. So Studio 2, that's just the same, isn't it? Just Pretty exactly much the same. exactly the same. I won't go in, I'll take your word for it. Right, I want to get out here. So this is it, the gantry. This is huge. I think it's probably Absolutely one of the biggest massive. in the UK. Wow. Look it is pretty big. All these benches. So obviously we'll be using some of these ourselves and also you've got the outside broadcast. And then how many people can we have down here? As many seats as we want to put in. And yeah. In all honesty, I haven't counted it, but I would say probably about 50. Wow. 60 in here. And look at that view that the guys have got from up here. That's incredible. So this is the orchard. Yeah. What kind of tier is this then in the hospitality packages? So this is on our top tier. One of the top tier lounges we wow. have on the east side of the building. And with regards to this, so then you pay for the package, and does that mean the food's included in that package as well? I believe so, yeah, from the commercial team, food's included, um, and, and then drinks thereafter. So Brilliant. We've got food and drinks offering in this room. And I imagine you get a little view of the stadium that's not too bad either. Let's yeah. have a little look at that as yeah, well. Nice padded seat out there. Oh, let's have a little look. Tell you what, absolute views and boils up here. Get on that. Right, and these are our executive boxes. Come on, I want to get involved with these. Tell you what, Alan, this is a bit of me, this. Not every week, special occasions, birthdays, anniversaries, but stags, hens, love this. So how many people in here? So we've got 12 to 14 people in here. Right, and they're all fed and watered, I take it? Fed and watered, self-contained. Well, and you've got screens, and I bet as well. I bet they've got a decent view. Come on. It's all right. I mean, how thick are these seats? That's like uh, pads when you go boxing. Surely, do you, who needs that much padding? But, oh, as <laughs> you are, that's too comfortable to watch football in, if anything. That's too comfortable. This is better than most chairs I've got in my house. So, Alan, Oxford and Cambridge, talk to me again. Where's this on the, the tiers of the package? This is the top tier dining package. Food and drinks all inclusive, your own lounge, welcome on arrival, your own bar area, kitchen just on the side as well, cooking up your food. Once you're in the room, the seats are just outside the front here as well, so you don't have to leave the lounge section, go on and view the game. And that's pre-match, half-time and post-match as well. Correct. Amazing. Correct. Well, let's have a little look at that view and I wonder if the seats are as padded as those ones down there. That was unbelievable. So you know, I'll take this seat again. Hell of a view here, halfway line. You can see the dugouts just below as well. These seats are seriously comfy. So this is the railway. Very spacious in here, I've noticed. Similar deal to the other ones, I take it. Absolutely. So another floor, another bit of hospitality. What's this one? This is called the Legends Lounge. Right, and how does this differ to the others? It's obviously with the food package, food and beverage package. So right. you have an option if you want to have food within the lounge, or you can just come and have a nice cool beer and yeah. watch football. You should probably see the view again, like we keep doing with all the, all the other ones. Let's here. Let's have a look. And another cracking view, to be fair. Like, all of them. Boardroom, can I get in here? Today, why not? It's all right. Yeah, hang on a sec. Give it a go. Doesn't look like a boardroom. I guess this is really not what I expected. I imagine just a big, long wooden table that everyone sits around, but I like it. It's set up for uh, boardroom dining, but it can be configured slightly different, so actually big boardroom table. Yeah, I love it. This is smart. I like this. This is the fortress. This, this the fortress. might be my favourite so far. Like the red and white and black seats. 
Uh, again, package-wise, what are we looking? It's optional food if you want, otherwise that is pretty much a, a bar offering. Yeah. Um, and your own lounge space, and then of course, the excellent views you've already seen. Right, so Alan, this is general admission, because I'll be honest, I thought this whole stand was going to be hospitality the way we were going, so this is where our general admission seats will be pre-match, similar to the other areas, nice, lovely, spacious concourse, with all the food and drink they need. Yeah, and food, again, drink, toilets, and just straight access onto the bowl. So here we are, dugout, that's right, isn't it? So we've got our own personal entrance to the dugout. Yes. From the outside, so you come down there, and this is where a lot of people will be post-match, some more entertainment and things like that, yeah? It is, it's pretty much uh, from hospitality guests as well. Once they finish up there, an hour after the game is over, they have the choice subject to availability to pop down here to the dugout. It's kind of self-contained, it looks like a sports bar. Yeah. Um, TV's on for a late game, You've got the bar going. Quite nice room, nice space. And fans that have got general admission tickets, if there's space in here, they can come in here, right? Agreed. Yep. Brilliant. It's all to do with the capacity. So this is the dugout seating. This is what they'll see. I think I've seen enough views. I want to live like a player, Alan. So can you take me to the player's entrance? Get your boots, shorts, let's go. Yes, I've got a game. Right, Alan, I'm a player. I've just arrived. This is the player's entrance, right? Can we do what their journey is going to be like until kickoff? Of course can. So come through here. Come through here. Up down this way. Down I this love way. this. This is proper inside. So press conference room will be up there. Here, mascot change room. What's that then? Is that Buzz and Buzzette or the little kids? That's Buzz and Buzzette. That's Buzz and Buzzette. Ball kids have got their own room. That is yeah. big. This is big time. And then where am I going? Left or right? Left We're or right? We're going to go right. Can you go right? So you've got Bob's kit room there. I'm going down here. Past Bob. Wow. Here we go. And then home team, so I'm going straight in here. Wow. This is huge. Huge screen up there. So they've got their own little lockers and all that. I mean, before they just had the lockers underneath the chairs, didn't they? Yeah, with the key. Look at this now. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Have the players picked yet? Do they know where they're going to sit? I don't think so. Not they're deciding picked. yet. That's, up for grass. That's a big decision. He's going to want to sit decision. where? Right, and I can't help but notice there's a lot of signs here. There's more to this room. So warm-up room is where I want to go because I'm a player. I need to get warmer for a game because I'll be honest, my legs aren't great. Oh, hang on. I've got a six-a-side pitch in here, guys. <laughs> Look at this. So we've got the Astro. We've got the rubber crumb here. So. I guess there'll be things like bikes and stuff in here and there'll be stretching area. That's exactly it. A bit of stretching area, a bit of gym equipment. Uh, if the guys want to just kind of do close ball control, touch, one touch football, wow. all in here, just, just to get kind of in the, in the mood opposed to uh, away from the dressing room. Before we go, I'm going to be honest here, this doesn't feel like a Brentford change room. This could be anyone's change room. If anything, it looks something like a Wembley style thing. Is there going to be stuff in here that is Brentford related? Yeah. We've basically got to do our own overlay on it and what we want to do from signage and branding. Um, but I'm sure Bob will be involved in that. So this no. is coaching staff. Yes. So what's going on in here then? So what we've got in here is got analysis teams changing space and the first team coaching wow. changing area. So they've got their own toilet, shower, changing space. And actually that's the head coach's office. Is Thomas Minus going in? He's not here. I'm just going to go anyway. Oh. I'm in. Hang on. I've been in this, so come in here. So this is Thomas's office. It's all linked, and I know what's through here. Do you? This is the tunnel, isn't it? Under the pitch. Which way is it? That, that way, way, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in. To be fair, you know what? This is a little bit nicer than Griffin Park. <laughs> Just um, a little bit. Wow. So. I guess we haven't gone down the route of making it intimidating for away teams. Is there reasoning behind that? It's, well, we've got dual sport playing at the stadium. We've got ladies' Euros coming. Of course, yeah. Um, it's just giving this clean space and uh, let's do our damage on the pitch. Right, Alan, before we get into this area, that this is the most exciting area, I think, I want to find where the refs are. Where are we going to be coming in and seeing them? Ah, right, there's two sections here. so. Oh, right, because obviously so we've got the female match officials here and the male ones in here. Yes. Should we have a little look in here? Come on. Pretty basic, isn't it? It's basic enough. They can have a little table area. It's a change yeah. of space area around the corner, shower, toilet. So, yeah. They've got a little fridge. What's in their fridge? 
What do they have? Probably just uh, empty at the moment. Absolutely so. nothing. A couple of bottles of water. We, we provide them a bath. Yes. Right, so this is the bit I love. This is where it all goes off on a match day. So let's get this right. This is where the players will come out from their changing rooms down there. They'll make their way down here to the pitch. Down here to the pitch. Another thing, this doesn't say Brentford to me. This is just, this could be a shopping centre, really. <laughs> is, is there going to be stuff up on yes, the walls? Yes, there is. I mean, it's a blank canvas at the moment. We just want to get the right branding, the right, right uh, inspirational kind of... Uh, Graphics up here, and quotes and things like that. Absolutely, pictures. Absolutely. What you've probably seen in this area here, uh, Stu, is we have to put in our mix zone interview um, sections. We've got five uh, sound booths to go in here. So that's oh wow. So that's you know once COVID is all finished, that's where this will be going. Right. Enough about post-match interviews. I don't care about that. I want to do what every Brent fan wants to do: lead his team out at the new stadium. Here we go. Puffing my chest out. Hopefully, Tunnel Man will be opening this Formula match day. What a moment this feels. Look at that. This is the first thing you'll see. Not only that, let's quickly get a look. So, hang on. Home, away, right? That's correct. Yes. So, yes. this is where Thomas would be in his technical area, barking out his orders. You know what? Actually, maybe I'm more suited to being a gaffer, I reckon. I'll tell you what, though. It's just an absolutely incredible place. I can't wait for everyone <laughs> to be in here. Thanks so much for the tour, Alan. Very welcome, Stu. Appreciate Glad it. you could make it and uh, the guys, everyone at home see what it's all about. We look forward wait. to welcoming them back very soon.